Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be doing a tutorial for a level in World 5. It's going to be 5-1 and for some reason 5-1 has always been so difficult to get P-Speed for us RTA runners. A while ago it was brought to our attention that you could get P-Speed close to the end of World 5. Not in the normal spot, like when you're still on the little jungle gym I guess is what you can call it um, you can get P speed but it seemed so difficult um, you had to manipulate the P meter bars so that it was in your favor when you perfectly landed on some spot um, but lately I've been playing with it and I've realized that uh, you don't actually need to manipulate any P speed bar you just have to kind of push your P speed in a small nook as much as you can you have to do a little bit of a turn back to give yourself enough room uh, to run across the question blocks. But yeah, let's jump more into detail right now and we can take a look at it. So first things first is it doesn't matter if you're Fire Flower, it doesn't matter if you're Small Mario, you, you don't need any power up to get P-Speed, at least this way. It doesn't matter how you do the level. The beginning of the level until after the second nipper on the stairs there, uh, you don't have to worry about anything you do. But after that is where everything is the most important. So after you jump over the second nipper, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of slow down a little bit and let the Buster Beetle run past the third nipper, and you're going to want to jump on him. But you're going to want to slow down on your jump because if you're going too fast, you're going to run into the nippers. So what I like to do is I like to let go of the D-pad entirely. I'll get that right momentum that I want to jump on the Beetle with, and then I'll let go of the D-pad. And then as soon as I'm high enough to make it over, I'll boost over and I'll put myself in the little nook between the two blue blocks. It's got the three breakable blocks. I think one of them has a P-switch in it. But you're going to want to land in there so as far back as possible um, to the blue block behind you. Take a look. Running inside this nook is really important. So this leads up. If you can't run inside this nook really well or with enough room, this is what will determine whether you get P-Speed or not. You run it in the nook and you try and give yourself as much space as possible. And what you want to do is at least build two to three bars. You're going to run as close as you can to that blue block in front of you. When you jump, you're going to want to do a turn back because you're running so much towards that block. If you were to just jump and not turn back, the next row of question blocks, you'll land on like the second one or the third one. Uh, you don't want to do that. You want to land uh, exactly on the first one as close to the edge as possible. It's actually going to hold your P meter a little bit and by the time you land on those question blocks you're already going to have one arrow already built of your P meter and that's the ticket. That's that's why we run as close as we can to that block is so we build as many bars as we can on the P speed. Once you land on the row of question blocks what you're going to want to do is run all the way to the edge of that little row and you're going to want to get right to the edge as far to the edge as you think you can possibly make it and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want a small tap jump just as small as you can make your jump. Don't do a big jump at all. That jump, it will make it over to the two other blocks. Okay, just a small little tap. And once you do that, when you land on the little two blocks, continue holding forward and B, and you should build your P-Speed. Uh, it's not at the last moment. You actually have a lot of room to build your P-Speed comfortably and, and get, get a jump. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want a full big jump after you get P-Speed, and two things will happen depending on how you built your P-Speed. One, you'll land on the Paragoomba, and in that case, just hold A and you'll bounce right off. And the other one is you'll land on the three vertical blocks which in that case, you're gonna to wanna to jump off. If you run off those, you'll lose your P-Speed. So yeah, that's how you get P-Speed in 5.1. I hope it works out as well for you guys as it has for me. Thanks for watching.